Hey guys, Shelly and Sean here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please take the time to hit the subscribe button down below. If you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate it. I asked you guys last week on my Instagram if you wanted to see all of my eBay sales from November or all of my Mercari sales. And Mercari won. So this video is showing you guys all of my Mercari sales from November. I usually do around, I have it in my notes right here. On average, I do about $264 a month on Mercari. That is after shipping discounts and fees. So, I mean, it's a decent chunk of change that's going to pay a few bills. So, I think it's worth it to cross list there. I definitely still make way more money on Poshmark than Mercari. Um, and the same exact items are listed in both places. And on Mercari, I even do free shipping. So, if you're going to cross list somewhere and you're not on Poshmark, I would highly suggest Poshmark over Mercari, but Mercari, you know, she's nice. She's, you know, some little side income. We can take that and pay off some debt or go invest in more inventory. So I still do cross list there, but it's not a large amount of money I'm making over there. But you guys wanted to see all of the items I sold. So here goes the 13, yes, 13 items I sold on Mercari in the month of November. So the first item that I sold on Mercari was a pair of new attack tour boots. I got these boots from an outlet sale for $12 and they sold on Mercari after 12 weeks. My earnings was $44.20 so earnings is after fees and discounts and my profit was $32.20. I think that's fine even though they took three months to sell. I listed them when people weren't really buying boots so you know beginning of August people aren't buying boots like crazy they're buying boots like crazy in november and october so you know it's whatever i made 32 dollars profit and i am ecstatic about that 12 dollars for new attack boots i would definitely pick them up again the next item i sold got no interest on any other platform they were a pair of new attacks anthropology pill crow and the letter press skin jeans uh, my earnings were $30.85 and my profit was $18.85. I did pay up for these, uh, but that's okay. I still made an $18 profit and they did take 10 weeks to sell. The next item that I sold was a bundle of three ties. I had all of my ties listed in my Mercury closet for, I believe, $20 or $25 with free shipping. And I don't have my 3 for 30 in my Mercury closet just because that's too much work and you can't really direct share things to people's closet. So this guy, he was like, can I buy the three ties for $50? And I was like, you definitely can. I can do free shipping. Like, yes, buy. You can have all three of those ties for 50 bucks for sure. So my earnings was $40.75 and my profit was $38.50 because I really don't spend a lot of money on ties. Um, and they took zero weeks to sell because they all sold within a couple of days of uh, listing them on Mercari. And those are the only ties that I've sold, but the fact that I made a $38 profit from three ties, that $38 profit has paid for all of the other ties and belts I've bought. So, you know, I'm not pressed about it. $38 profit off three ties I paid like 50 cents a piece for. The next item I sold was a new at Tags Old Navy dress. I got this from Ashley. She sent me a free mystery box. Uh, I will link that video in the cards. And my earnings was $19.50 for that. And my profit was $19.50 because I got it for free. And it took it a little over a week to sell on Mercari. I noticed that a lot of new at Tags items sell on Mercari. That is like a big portion of the items that I've sold there. Um, so if you are going to crosslist, I would highly recommend crosslisting your new at Tags items first. The next item that I sold was an express dress and I was really surprised that this sold so quick. I showed this in one of my ship with me videos but I paid 80 cents for the dress. My earnings were $17.35 and my profit was $16.55. I believe that's an 80 cent difference and it sold in a couple of days on Mercari. It was a really cute dress but I didn't think it was anything that was going to fly out of my store. The next item that I sold was a new at Tags Chico's top. I got this from a clothes mentor clearance sale, new at Tags, 70% uh, off of their clearance price, and I only made a $5.65 profit on it. Um, it took 22 weeks to sell, a very long time. It was one of the oldest items in my Mercari store. And I don't know why it took so long to sell. I sent out a offer to Likers on Mercari 
and I was like, if she doesn't accept this, this is getting relisted. Now that I'm on eBay, maybe it'll do better there. But it just took forever to sell 22 weeks on a new at Tags Chico's item. It took for it took a while. Also, I'm sorry if you guys, like if some of you guys actually watch all of my videos and have seen these items in my ship with me videos. I know there's gonna be some overlap, but I figured you guys wanted to see everything that sold on Mercari, so I'd give it to you. The next item that sold was an adorable dress. It was by Maud Cloth, and it was their Bijou A-Line music note dress. I paid $6 for that dress, and I'd pick it up time and time again. My earnings were $36.10, and my profit was $30.10, and it took under a week to sell. The next item I sold was a champion yellow sweater. I had bought this sweater for myself, so I did take a loss on it when it sold. I paid a, I paid like, I think, $15, $18 for it, something like that, for the sweater. And then I put it on, and I was like, I'm never going to wear this sweater. Why did I buy it? So I listed it, and then I realized it had a flaw. Uh, my earnings were $13.60, though, for it, so I lost $0.80 cents on it. I'm not that upset about it. It's $0.80. Cents. It took a little over a week to sell. And then I sold another champion sweater, an Ohio State champion sweater, and the collar, look, I seen champion and just completely forgot to check the shit for flaws, apparently. The collar was kind of like thinning. It almost looked like bit up, but it was just thinning and it just had some flaws. It's whatever. I still made a $2.60 profit on that one. My earnings were $7.60 and that took three weeks to sell. The next item I sold was hands down one of the best sales of November and I was so surprised it came from Mercari. I sold a Cole Haan coat outright, full price. Somebody seen the price said, yep, I'll take that bitch and they bought it. Uh, I believe it was $118 it sold for with free shipping and the coat weighed like six pounds. So I ended up paying like $13 for the shipping, which is whatever. I mean, I sold the coat in two weeks for a great profit. Uh, my earnings were $93.20 and my profit was $80.95, which I think is amazing. It took two weeks to sell. I definitely pick it up again. Kohan is a great brand. People know it. People love their stuff. It's quality. I mean, I knew it was going to sell, but I was surprised that it sold on Mercari for full price and that it only took two weeks to sell. And it was a men's coat as well. Let me note that. And then the last item that I sold was a new at Tags sleeveless brown Cupio sweater. I got that from a clothes vendor as well on clearance. My earnings were $16.45. My profit was $11.45 and it sold in over a week. So those are all my sales from Mercari from November. This video went pretty quick. I know some of you guys are gonna just be ecstatic about that because my videos are long. Uh, but I had 13 sales. I did $298.45 take home pay. And my average on a month to month basis on Mercari is $264.65. It is December something the 10th I believe or 11th I don't know it doesn't really matter but I have not sold anything on Mercari this month so far and I haven't changed anything I've been doing my price drops I've been listing there daily daily I'm not really sure what's going on but eBay has been picking up the slack so I'm okay with that but those are my 13 sales from last month on Mercari I hope this helps you guys in some way definitely if you're looking at crossless I would highly suggest cross-listing any new with tags, any plus size, uh, men's items, any kids items you have, and then any of those popular brands like Madewell, Lily Pulitzer, somebody's on my porch. Or somebody walked by. I live on a main street. Kind of a main street. Uh, Madewell, Anthropology, Free People, Urban Outfitters, any of those brands. If you're looking to cross list and don't have time and my list is backed up, then I would suggest to do those ones. Uh, but that is it for me. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you want to see down below. Also, I should have plugged this at the beginning. But I am filming a Q&A video either tomorrow or the next day, someday this week. So if you have any questions, please drop them down below. I will be answering those in that video. But yeah, that is it for me. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, leave any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, all that jazz down below. And I will see you in my next one. Peace out, guys.